Okay, so for the second part of this solo, it starts up here near the 12th fret. Then you play the 15th fret on the E string um, and the 12th fret on the E string. So then it goes down an arpeggio on the B string, 13th fret, to the G string, the 14th and 12th fret. So that's... It sits on that E note for, or the G note for a second, and then it sweeps down that arpeggio. And then it goes to the, so that's, you could think of that as part A of this phrase. You have, then you have this part, right? And that's walking down a scale with some chromatic notes. You have the 15th fret of the B string, all on the B string, 15, 13, 12. Then you have 14, 12 on the G string. Then you walk down chromatically from 15, 14, 13, 12 on the D string. So that whole thing is. And again, this phrase is broken up. You have this, then. So it kind of hits that note and stops for a second. Then it slides into this arpeggio. And that's the 15th fret on the B string to the 12th fret on the B string, 12th fret on the G string to the 14th fret and 12th fret on the D string. So that's. And again, it holds that note for a second, then goes and slides. Uh, you know, goes down the strings, sweeps on the arpeggio, which is the same as, right? Then, so that whole thing together is, and it slides into that note before it goes down that arpeggio. So now, the next part of the phrase, uh, Now it just walks up chromatically, and it's really, again, you're going down, down, down on all this. You have down, down, then down, right? Now he goes up, and he walks up chromatically, so there's some tension in there that's really cool. So you have 12, 13, 14, 15 on the B string, and then you repeat that on the E string. So 12, 13, 14, 15 on the E string. So. All right, so the whole thing is. And then he goes down an arpeggio from that 15th fret to the 12th fret on the E string to the 13th fret on the B string. And you can look at this all as a C major arpeggio, right? Now this is, again, all based around C major. So all these concepts, even that chromaticism, if you look at a C major scale, you have B, C, D, E, F, G, right? Or if you wanted Lydian, you have F sharp. But here you have B, C, D, and that one extra note, that uh, C sharp or B flat, uh, is really just a passing tone at that point. As opposed to, right, it sounds really similar, but gives you extra beats and an extra tone in there. Um, so it may seem more complicated than it is, but it's really just walking up a scale. Then it goes down a C major arpeggio, right? So the whole thing is. And then it walks down this scale again. So from the 15, 13, 12 on the G, uh, I'm sorry, on the B string. 15, 13, 12 B string. Uh, 14, 12 on the G string. Uh, I forget where it goes there. Uh, that's where it goes. So it walks down that, that. Then it goes to the 14, 12 on the D string. So 15, 13, 12, B. 14, 12, G. 14, 12, on the D string, and he actually may only hit the 14th fret on the 
D string, and then slide. So, uh, and a slow slide, or he does those two notes. And then he slides into this arpeggio where it's the same ar arpeggio shape as this one, but now it's down a whole step, right? So you're starting with your pinky on the 13th fret of the B string, you pull off, or then you play actually with the pick, and you sweep down the 10th fret of the B string to the 10th fret of the G string to the 12th fret of the D string to the uh, 10th fret of the D string. So, so that whole thing is... Um, Now, if you notice what's going on there too, again, it's it's kind of uh, doing the op, a uh, call and response kind of thing, and he's doing uh, so. the The beginning is, you know, the call is or the intro of the lick is all going down. Then he goes up, and that's the response to it. Then, then when he does this. Uh, He's repeating that phrase of, I mean, this whole thing is the repeated phrase of doing that kind of sweeping arpeggio, which is a really cool technique. It's, it's, it's doing a, a motif basically, and you're repeating it, but you're doing it different each time or slightly different each time, or even similar, but just down or up on different notes. So that's that whole section there. Then he goes to this part, right? And that's. Uh, again, very reminiscent, it's this motif that went on earlier, which was... Right, now he's doing it here. Right, and that's basically the 8th fret to the 10th fret, back to the 8th fret, to the 7th fret, back to the 8th fret, to the 10th fret, all on the B string, so... Right, so that whole thing goes... He walks up chromatically this time. So on the E string, it's the 7, 8, 9, 10, right? So. And then he goes down that arpeggio, same as here again. So he goes from the 10th fret to the 7th fret on the E string to the 8th fret on the B string. So that's. Now he just he goes walks down a scale from 10 8 7 on the B string to the eighth uh, I'm sorry to the ninth fret on the G string so that whole thing is then he goes to the sixth fret of the B string and he and he does he just taps that note then he goes to the fifth fret of the B string so that's And then he hammers on and off. He either hammers on and off there, or he just taps that note, and then he pulls off from the 6 to 5. But I like playing it where he taps that note on the 6th fret, then he quickly hammers on and off the 5th, 6th, 5th on the B string. Right? So that whole thing is... And then that he walk after he does that hammer on hammer off he goes to the G string and he goes seven six five so it's then he goes seven six five G string to the seventh fret of the D string to the fourth fret of the G string so right so the whole thing slow is. On that fourth fret, he goes four five four, all on the G string, to seven six on the D string, to the eight on the uh, A string. So the whole thing is. So 
So after all that, he goes to the fifth fret of the G string, skips the D string, and he plays six, five on the A string. So that whole thing is. Then he goes to fifth fret again on the G string, to the fifth fret of the D, uh, yeah, the fifth fret of the D string, to the seventh fret of the A string, and he plays that note twice. So that whole thing is. Then he goes to, after he hits that note twice, he goes back to the fifth note. He keeps pivoting off of this note. So then he slides up from the sixth fret to the seventh fret on the D string. Then he goes down from the fifth fret, slides down to the fourth fret on the G string. So that whole thing is. Then he slides up from the fifth fret to the sixth fret on the B string and goes back down to the fifth fret. Then he walks down chromatically on the G string from seven, six to five. And that's the end of the thing. So the whole thing goes. Right? So that's that whole thing. And it's, um, it's pretty straightforward as far as what's going on. There's not a lot of craziness going on, but it's a great thing lesson in uh, repeating phrases, call and response, and targeting notes. And we're actually going to go into that next. We're going to break down a little bit of theory um, on what's going on here and how you can incorporate some of these things into your own playing. So I'll see you in a second.